So when we were making our DSLR and tripod video, we spoke to OPT about regular DSLR imaging. And they were like, hey, we've got something that you can show your viewers. A sky tracker that's 100% mechanical. And we were like, whoa, because that's something that's totally unheard of. It seems so unique. Okay, let's see what's in there. I have no idea. So I have two packages here. <clears throat> this is obviously the mechanical tracker. And this, I'm not sure, let's see. Oh, this is the, the ball head for the DSLR. So with this, we'll be able to attach our camera and angle it exactly like we want it. And in here should be, well, this, obviously. Let's see, exciting. You don't get to try new stuff, like, ever. I'm gonna be careful with the packaging. Okay, all right. So this is what the packaging looks like inside. So I'm completely unfamiliar with everything here. I do not know how to use any of these, but we will try together. Um, that's some kind of piece of plastic. I'm not sure what it is for. And piece of metal. You could kill someone with this. I don't want to, but... Mm -hmm. We have another piece of metal here, which I will try to get out. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure what it is either. We have two small screws. No, some kind of screwing metal stuff. And finally, we have the actual tracker. So this should attach to the tripod and do all the work for us. So I'm going to try to quickly learn what everything does and how to mount this and I will get back to you. Later in this video, we'll be showing you our first try with this product. The reasoning is that the weather did not cooperate with us in trying to image. So when we make our full review video, we should expect to get results similar to what we get using our motorized mount or an electronic tracker. With the exception of not having to lug a ton of equipment around and powering anything up. Okay, so after doing some research, we do not need this. This is only for the southern hemisphere. So you would put this on so it can invert the tracking. We are in the northern hemisphere, so we do not need that. You can put it away. And this is only if you did not, if you have a different size of ball head, um, you would use that, I believe, to, uh, as an adapter for a different size of ball head. So those two parts we do not need. Good for us. And here is the device as ready. So the ball head is here, the camera will go right here. This is the Polaris finder, so the kind of like a polar scope. Uh, you would look through here, you put your eye here and find Polaris and the whole thing goes on the mount, I mean, on the tripod, um, using this screw here. So like this. Bam! Okay, so since Dahlia isn't here yet, uh, I'm going to try the tracker inside, uh, just so we can see if it's working. I think I'll do a short time lapse just to see if it's actually uh, uh, rotating, so tracking. Uh, if so, we'll be fine for tonight. Let's try. So we're going to go out now to a nearby location, um, probably a parking lot, uh, to check out our new gadget. Since the moon is out, we're not really, you know, wanting to go all the way out into the desert, so that's why we've picked this location. One of my friends lent me a DSLR camera, it's a 7TD from Canon, 
So you can use this one on the tracker and our usual 7D Mark II to film, maybe take a time lapse, we'll see um, how the tracking works. Alright, let's go. So we need a ball head, which I have here, a DSLR camera here, and so the tracker is here. Let's take it nicely, add this to the bottom. Like, just like a regular DSLR camera for me. Let's add it here. Okay, like this. So it's this way. And then. Okay. I'm going to put the, the head on it. And then all we have to do is put the polar finder and then the camera okay the camera is here it's ready make sure it's tight okay now we're going to walk to a beautiful place and see if we can get something nice here's a polo finder uh, which goes normally over here I don't remember if it goes like this or like this. I think it goes. I have to move this first. But I think it goes like this. I'm not sure. I have to double check online. Okay. I guess he is fine. Okay, so Polaris is right there. Uh, the strip is on our left here. And uh, so the Polar Finder, which is here, I just look through it. And once I have Polaris in there, I just lock my mount to make sure, my tripod, to make sure nothing moves at all. And then I can point my camera any direction I want. This is kind of tricky. Uh, we'll talk about it in the review. But um, I try, I'm trying the setting, which should be fine. Let's see if it's tracking. It looks like the moon. Yeah, the moon is here, so you won't see much, but still, it's just a test. The tracker seemed to be guiding really well. We were going to do long exposures for each shot, but we had to cut it to 15 seconds, because within Las Vegas, anything longer would make our images be all blown out. What we really wanted to see is if stars would stay in their spot over an hour, and they did! Before we left, we managed to take a longer exposure shot by making our aperture tighter. Our 24mm lens would give us a maximum exposure time of 20 seconds on the tripod before seeing star trails. Here is a 1 minute and 20 second shot. As you can see, the stars are perfectly round and there's no trail. And here is a 2 minutes and 20 seconds shot. Once again, there is no star trails. The stars seem a tiny bit less round when zooming in but this is most likely due to not being on lower ground. So we've been at this location for about one hour and you know we're right next to the Las Vegas Strip. There's a whole lot of light pollution. However, in our um, camera finder, we were able to see the, the brightest star that we could find, which was Sirius. And luckily we saw that there, uh, they were kind of like with pinpoint accuracy. So we're really, really excited about that. Yeah, so we tried a small time lapse. Uh, we'll see how long it is uh, when we zoom in, but it seems really fine for now, so that's a good thing. We'll try the, the product more in depth in a full review uh, very soon. Um, we just in wanted the to desert. see. Yeah, we just wanted to check it out. Sorry for interrupting. 
Yes, but, there's no time here, I mean, because of the moon and stuff, so... Right, we wanted to see how great it would work right out of the box, so if you also were really excited to get this product and you wanted to test it out immediately, um, hopefully we can find that it'll work straight out of the box. Let us know what you think about this tracker. We'll make a review of it soon. Also, we should have episode 12 out in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Until then, clear skies.